Good morning, everybody. This is Dee from Rock Paper Fitness. I am here at the gym about to teach one of my classes. Hopefully, it's not too ratchet this morning. But I wanted to come to you and talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart. That is fear and failure. Um, so a lot of you guys have dreams. You have businesses. You have um, ideas. You have just some great vision for your life. But the people around you are giving you bad advice. The people around you do not want to see you succeed because they do not believe that you or that they can succeed, okay? So you ever talk to somebody and they say something out the way like, you're like, oh, I want to start this business. What do you think? And then off the top, they're like, no, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. You're going to do this and that. And you're like, wait a minute. This is in my heart. I don't understand where this is coming from. All of a sudden, you don't support me. Like, what is the deal? A lot of times people let the fear and failure in their lives determine whether or not they think you should do what you want to do. Let's talk about how logical that is, okay? You're giving me your opinion off of a fear that you have, right? You're giving me an opinion off of the failure that you experienced. And what's even more crazy, there are people who have never experienced the fear or failure in what you're talking about, but they can give you advice about it. How does that sound? It doesn't make sense. There are some of you who want to get in shape and your friends literally are like, I don't understand why you're doing that. Um, you know, you're just going to go back to eating bad. No, you're going back to eating bad. What you mean? So you guys don't let the fear failure of other people and their opinions stop you from doing what you want to do. If you want to save your money and get a house, your dream house, do it. Just because somebody in your life tried to do it and they were not successful does not mean you can do you can't do it okay just because you may have failed before or they may have failed before don't mean does not mean you should not attempt it some people are scared to change their lives and so they want you to also be scared to change your life and I'm going to tell you why. Because your success, you stepping on out on faith, you believe in God, you becoming challenged and, and, and raising the bar is a mirror to them on how they are not doing better with their life and they are staying in a state of mediocrity. That's why. That's why they're so frustrated with you. Good morning, Elder Savage. Good morning, Tony. That's why. That's why people are frustrated with you. They, why do people always got something to say when you're eating healthy food? Because they don't have enough courage to eat healthy food. People are literally in my inbox talking about, D, I'm scared to drink water. I'm scared. I'm scared to come to your gym. Why? Why? You, have, you don't even have a frame of reference as to why you're fearful. And, then, and I want to challenge you with that. Next time you tell your ideas or dreams to somebody or even yourself, and you say, I'm scared to X, Y, Z. Ask yourself why you're scared. Are you scared because somebody told you to be scared? Are you scared because the media told you that should be your reaction? When you start a business, people are like, it's so hard, I'm scared. What, what are you scared about? Are you scared because that's how people told you to react? Are you fearful and doubtful, doubt, doubting because... That's how people are around you. Most of the people around you are fearful because they doubt. Because they apply for a job and you say, G good luck or be blessed on your, on your job interview. And they're like, I'm scared. What you scared about? You scared to do better for yourself? You scared to get them coins? You scared to be, build an empire for yourself? What are you scared about? There are people who are like, I'm scared to eat green vegetables. Why? Because they'll make you healthier? I don't understand. I'm scared to change my life. I'm scared to ask for what I need. I'm scared to, ch to care for myself. I'm, I'm scared to tell my child, no, they can't do X, Y, Z because I want to put myself first. What are you scared about? Y'all, do not let fear and doubt of other people determine what you should do. Especially when those people have no 
experience at all in what you want to do. Some of y'all friends are giving y'all fitness advice and nutrition advice, and the only fitness they have ever done is walking from the kitchen table to the refrigerator. That's it. But they're now they're an expert to tell you why you shouldn't do a shake, why you shouldn't walk, why you shouldn't do this or that, why you shouldn't do CrossFit, why you shouldn't do boot camp. Now you're an expert, but you've never done it before. But you've watched enough TV to, to, to be expert. Please tell me y'all. So... I just wanted to come and encourage you guys today. Whatever is in your heart, go for it. Then you can form your opinion off of it. But, 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 remember this. No matter how many times you try something. Sorry, y'all. No matter how many times you try something, it's always a different circumstance. Always. No matter how many times you try something, even if you think you are failing, it's always different. So try it again. Do it again. If it's in your heart, do it again, right? If, if you know it's pulling on you, do it again. If you don't have anybody support, supporting you, it doesn't matter. Trust God. Do it again. Elevate your circle. Make your try better. That's what I need you to do, okay? So I love you guys. Have a great day. Live in excellence and do what's in your heart. Forget all of them people who are haters and all of them people who have no experience in what you want to do.